Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Salesforce for Step by Step. My name is Dr. Raj Deshmukh and today's topic is how to set up email relay in Salesforce with Google SMTP. Today we will be covering following points. What is email relay? Number two, why do we need email relay? How to set up email relay in Salesforce and Google? And then we will see the working demo. So without wasting any more time, Let's start with first point. What is email relay? Let's start with the definition. Uh, what is email relay? Email relay is the process of transmitting an email message from one server to another. Now, by default, when an email is sent from Salesforce platform, it uses Salesforce own SMTP server, which is internal to Salesforce. Now, SMTP server is responsible for sending or receiving all the emails. Uh, to and from outside world. So basically in simple terms, what it means is handing over an email from one server to another with some rules or policies. Now, in this case, when a Salesforce sends an email uh, from its own SMTP server, we will be handing over that email to SMTP server of our choice, in this case, Google. And then that email will be uh, sent to said to end user uh, with some policies or some rules attached to that email i hope this definition is clear of what is email relay now let's move on to the next point why 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 let's understand the scenario first by default all Salesforce generated emails looks like this and it includes some random characters in the email header. This is because Salesforce uses its own SMTP server to send emails. Now, all emails originated from Salesforce are signed by their uh, internal um, server. Now, this could indicate as a spam to end user who might not be aware of uh, Salesforce platform. While, uh, while these points can be handled by implementing DKIM, there could be other reasons uh, as well to implement email relay. You, for example, you want all your emails to be routed via your organization's SMTP exchange as you have email compliance and policies uh, set up internally and you want your Salesforce org to adhere to it. For example, you would want to store emails uh, for retention. This is a typical scenario in case of uh, government orgs or enterprise clients. There are high chances of having multiple policies around um, emails. For example, retain all the emails three to five years before ar archival. You would also want to attach email policies uh, in your email bodies, such as uh, disclaimer. Uh, we often, you know, if even in enterprise org, you would find this disclaimer or um, some text uh, attached as an email um, body or at, at the footer level. Also, <clears throat> there could be cases where whenever an email is sent out from your Salesforce org, you would want to store that email in the say, user's sent box. Now, if, even though this email is appearing as if this is sent from uh, this user's inbox, which is the thread at the Salesforce step by step.com, this email will not appear in this user's sent folder um, uh, in, 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 the, in the email uh, in the email client. This is because this email was not actually sent by the Salesforce step by step domain. It was sent by Salesforce internal SMTP server. Now, I hope you you got an idea of, uh, regarding why you would want to implement this email uh, relay. If you still have any questions, please add a comment. Uh, I'll try to answer them. Now, let's move on uh, to setup of email relay. I've logged into my developer edition org. And in a setup relay. 
So over here, you would find two settings uh, regarding the email relay. One is the email domain filter and the other one is the email relay. Now let's go ahead and set up this email relay. Ads will be using uh, Google for our demo. Your host will be this for Microsoft. Uh, I think the, there is a documentation available uh, on Salesforce site uh, where you can check the port number and as well as uh, the host for Microsoft. Okay, so that's it. Uh, these are this is the save settings for the email relay. You click on save. Now let's go ahead and create the domain filter. What this 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 domain filter is basically uh, tells Salesforce that route all the emails from specified domain, uh, basically email originating from specified domain to email uh, routed to a specific domain. So in this case, we'll just keep star wildcat character star, which essentially means any email sent from any domain, uh, sent to any domain should use this email relay. So we'll go ahead and click save. That's it, our email relay is in action now. Now let's move on to the setup of towards the Google side. Okay, let's start by logging into Google's admin console. Now here um, you would need a license for Google Business. Um, the first it will not work on a personal uh, you know, Gmail account. You need to sign up for the uh, business uh, business account you can do it for the trial as well uh, which is i think it's for the 14 days so let log into the account okay <clears throat> i'm into google console now quickly go to gmail it's at gmail this is the section that where we can set up the um, routing mechanism. Okay, here is the section SMTP relay service. Now I have already added all the details, but uh, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, so basically, what it means is which email should be routed to this Google SMTP. Uh, or you know which emails should use this relay service so any emails which has addresses in my domains which is my domain is salesforce step by step dot com and I have an email address of the Taraj at the salesforce step by step dot com so any email sent from using this email ID will be used will be used for this relay service now for authentication, we need to specify all the IP ranges of the uh, uh, of, of the Salesforce SMTP, uh, which is used to send an email. So there, there is a documentation available, uh, which Salesforce has, where Salesforce has provided all the IP addresses and listed um, all the IP addresses and its ranges. So all you need to do is click add and add the IP address or range over here click save that's it i've already added all the ip addresses uh, as per the my orgs region so my, my org is in um, i think it's in asia region my developer org is in asia region so for asia region there were these four to six uh, ip addresses mentioned as per the documentation so i've just added it that's it leave the default setting as is click save Now your SMTP relay service is in action. Now let's go ahead and send an email 
from Salesforce and see how it looks like. All right, I have logged in into my dev org now. Uh, I've logged in with the user uh, Woods email address uh, as a domain at bustep.com. <clears throat> now let's send an email to my another email address, which is of the Gmail, uh, and let's see how that email appears. All right, the email has been sent. Uh, let's see how it appears uh, in the user's inbox. All right, now that I've received the email in my inbox, notice few details here. Number one, the uh, random characters are gone now. Uh, we don't see any more random characters. All we see is plain uh, email address. Also, the mail by is now the domain name uh, that is which is my domain name since for step by step signed by is also uh, since for step by step dot com <clears throat> also if you notice here uh, we have added a disclaimer which could be the part of the uh, company's policy that that you would want to attach now these are the things that can be achieved via uh, email relay uh, also there is uh, also you can you can see that this email which was sent you from this email address is now appearing in the sent folder of this user's um, inbox so let me quickly show you the inbox of the taraja direct step step by step dot com all right now so I'll show you this inbox and if you notice the sent folder <clears throat> you would you would see that this email here is your code which you just sent is now appearing in the sent folder so this is this way you can save emails sent, sent out of Salesforce um, into the sent folders um, if you route all these emails via your choice of exchange in this case Google I hope this tutorial was informative and helpful uh, if you have any questions or doubts please add a comment um, and I'll try to answer it that's it for the day thank you everyone keep learning